Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 28, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. I will start by looking at the US dollar index. And uh, Friday was very interesting. We did break down towards the 200 moving moving average and then rallied significantly. And um, we have tested that 200 moving average twice now, right here and also here. So on Wednesday and on Friday. And in both occasions, we have rallied. And it kind of looks like we are going to retested these previous highs here up at uh, 92 and that 20 exponential probably will cross the 200 moving average or we'll have a shot at that if that occurs then we may go significantly higher we could go all the way up towards these previous highs here at the 93 and this of course will have fairly big implications for uh, precious metals uh, commodities in general as uh, there is a negative correlation between U.S. dollar and um, and uh, and commodities and precious metals. So this goes up, the other things may go down. If you look at the uh, MACD, it is still bullish. Stochastic is flat. CCI is still bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at oil. So oil is um, kind of becoming the new cryptocurrency. It is uh, so much hype in this market uh, that. Um, Yes, it may go back to uh, 2007 levels where we went all the way above $100, $100 and we went all the way up towards $150 if this uh, continues because we have doubled in just, if you look at where we, if we, we bottomed here, uh, this was back in, uh, in, um, in November. It has basically doubled since then, more than doubled since November and... Um, and uh, that in the long run is not a very good thing for the world economy because it basically runs on oil. So the more expensive this becomes, the more inflation and uh, well, worse purchasing, purchasing, uh, purchasing power for, for consumers. And that will just hit the economy. And yes, we'll get into a terrible cycle. So higher oil prices is not a very good thing for, for the economy. But if you look at, at this as a technical perspective, we can see that it is overbought at this point. It has 74. We are approaching the top of the bullish band. And if we were to pull back, then we'll mostly find support at 70. If that breaks, then the 50 moving average down here at 66 will mostly be where we'll find the next massive support level. Otherwise, technical indicators are all bullish at this point. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is getting into, uh, I would say, stupid territory, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, we should not be seeing these moves to the upside. And I would not be surprised if we have a pullback um, when the market opens, as we are significantly outside of the bullish band. We are overbought, and uh, usually those things uh, uh, are not a very good cocktail, as we saw right here. Same for the RSI was significantly at the same level where we're now or even higher and then we fell towards the middle of the bullish band so you may see that occur again or have a stabilization for one day and then drop but we are in uptrend as long as that is the case and uh, we are going to see this market go go higher so we did break these previous highs and that means that we need to look at some uh, else here so the next target here should be around 3.8 and then we're up to four um these moves here yes they are of course possible but usually they're possible when you have extreme cold conditions really really single you can see that this is basically november december uh, where we had a very very cold uh, winter months and therefore demand was significantly higher and then, and i won't say that it can't happen but and these parabolic moves usually occurs occur when that uh, when that happens. This time of year, usually it falls, but we are in a really nice uptrend, and this is just very overstretched. So a pullback towards support at the to three point two three around that area uh, that could be expected at this point before going higher. So let's look at copper. So copper is one of those market that could see. Uh, 
a continuation of this downtrend if the US dollar starts to appreciate. So what was interesting here is that we have rallied up towards the 20, got rejected, rally up towards the 20, and got rejected. If we take out these previous lows here at 0 4.09, .09, then we're dropped to 4, and then probably the 200 moving average. And that's probably where we'll find buyers come, coming back in. This has been a really, really good performing market for a long time. And pullbacks were have been expected several times. You saw one here, also here, and in both those occasions, it, it continued to rally. It started rallying, started rallying. I was actually shorting this around this area and then left my short when I saw this and continued to rally. But now it looks like we are heading towards the 200 moving average due to the fact that we are getting rejected at the 20 and usually that means that we'll go lower and lower. Technically, in the Guinness, we can see that MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at gold. Yes, gold fell off a cliff from just above 1900 all the way down to uh, 1760. And if 1760 breaks, then we're dropping towards 1700 and then the previous lows here, this double bottom here. And if that breaks, then we are looking at 1500. Of course, if the US dollar starts to appreciate, then that is a really, really bad sign for, for this market. You can also see that the 50 moving average was expected to cross the, the 200, but it looks like it is rolled over here and it's not going to cross. Or if it does cross, then it will it'll, it'll be very short for this and crossing here and then we'll drop back down. Um, so that will also be very bearish for this market. But if we were to rally, 20 expansion will most likely be where we'll find uh, support, resistance, sorry, at 1820 at this point. And if you get rejected there, then we'll most likely go back towards these previous lows. And that will be uh, the test here. Taking indicators at this point are all bearish. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar, but we are finding massive support at the 200 moving average here. If we were to break the 200 moving average, then we could see this drop back towards these previous lows here at 23. 20 exponential is racing towards the 200 moving average. And if we have a crossing of these moving averages of the 200, then we could see this completely change like we have seen in gold. But uh, rallies up towards uh, the 20 will most likely be sold into at this point. Technical indicators are all bearish except for the RSI which is bullish at this point. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has rallied up towards the 20 and the question is whether or not we are getting gonna get rejected yet again. We saw it here, here and here and now we're going back towards 20 and we need to cross the 20 in order to go back towards the 50 and continue higher. If you have a crossing of the 20 uh, exponential and the 50 up to 200, then we are seeing this market going to drop significantly uh, lower. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still bearish, uh, just underneath the signal line. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium, very similar. We had this again, gigantic fall towards the 200 moving average, have recovered a bit but got re kind of rejected just underneath the 220 exponential moving average. And that could mean that we'll drop back towards the 200 moving average. If that breaks, then 2250, that will most likely be where we'll find the next um, support level. 20 exponential is going to move this way. 50 is probably going to do this way, move this way. So we'll probably have an area here that will go really choppy before uh, finding out whether or not we're going to the upside or to the downside. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did um, gap up and then continue rallying. So we are approaching these previous highs here. And the question is whether or not we managed to break above them. If we do, then we are going towards these previous highs here up at 2564. Technical indicators are all bullish at this point. Pull back towards the 20 exponential will mostly be bought into at 24.25. So let's look at nickel. Sorry. So nickel 
It did rally all the way up towards uh, 18,508 and then pull back a little bit. Uh, at this point, we're getting into the area where we found resistant in the past. So this area here should, oh, sorry. This area here should be an area that we, if we break above that, then we're going to 90,000 and then to 20,000. So the question is whether or not we pull back from here and head back towards the 200 moving average or just towards the 20 exponential and then continue higher. Technical indicators are all favoring the upside. They're all bullish at this point. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did rally up towards the 20 exponential and, and no, it did break down and then rallied. And then we ended up basically in the same place where we started. We needed to break above the 50 and the middle of the bullish band in order to go back towards these previous highs. If we get rejected here, then we're heading back towards the 200 moving average down here at 15.55. Technical indicators, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, RSI is flat, and the stochastic is, and the MACD is bearish as well. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is approaching the previous highs over here. We did break about them. Uh, so we could well head towards 0 0.90. Uh, if we get rejected here at the 20 exponential, then we could probably drop back towards the 50 moving average, which should act as uh, support down there at 0 0.8549. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, we can see that they're all bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is bullish. So momentum is definitely to the upside. Um, and there's quite a lot of room as well before we get to 70 in RSI. So let's look at Cocoa. So Cocoa did make a move towards the 20 exponential and then got rejected quite heavily. It also tested the previous lows and um, yes, the question is whether or not we managed to break uh, below these previous lows here. We have tested it here, 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 and uh, it kind of looks like momentum is to the downside. We have occasional these moves here to the upside, but if you look at what has happened since the December, this has just been falling, falling, and falling, falling. In average, we have just been going lower and lower. And it's just a matter of time, probably before we break this low here, or roughly. 23 uh, 27 and then drop to 22 50 and then lower than that technical indicators macd is uh, flat stochastic is bearish cgi is bearish and the rsi is bullish at this point so let's look at wheat so wheat really dropped like a rock on friday and this is a horrible looking candlestick there is no pullback at the end of the session and that could mean that we'll open lower on Monday and then continue towards the 600, um, 600 range, which should be massive support. Not a good sign for this market. If you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the downside. It has been absolutely hammered since the very highs up here at 70, 766, give or take. So, yes. These are the next lows if that basically breaks. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and good luck and thank you very much.